Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 24, Procedural Drawing with the LCD Object. Um, I thought before we moved on to uh, Jitter, which I think we'll be doing next week, we should at least uh, kind of finish up on drawing and, and do a little procedural drawing and learn a little bit about the outputs of some of these objects, particularly the LCD, it's, it's kind of nice to understand how you can use it to sort of feedback and control things. So let's get a blank uh, window up here, uh, that would be Command N, and then you type N again, and you type LCD in there. And there we have our LCD. And I'm going to sort of stay zoomed in on this for a while. Come on, zoom. And I'm going to try to keep it relatively simple um, and also show you how the input and outputs work. So one of the things that we'll be working with today is this message that's called get size. And it's a nice message to know with the LCD because then um, you can find out how big it is and scale everything that you're doing accordingly. So if you want to scale something, this is the thing to know. Now, um, I had said before, oh, I have no idea what that dump output is, but actually, I, I even do know what it is. But if you ever want to find out what something is, I like to use the message box and just connect this uh, output to the right-hand inlet of the message box and just keep your eyes on it and then anytime you try something, you can say, oh, huh, get size. What comes out? Size, 128, 128. Okay, let's unlock our patcher and change the size of this thing now. And I'll lock the patcher again and say, get size. And there it is, 257, 110. So depending on how this thing is appearing on your screen, these numbers will pop out and they'll tell you what's going on. Okay, but it's not particularly useful to you in a message like that. What it is, uh, the way to make it more useful is to first off route it because we, we know that other messages can come out there or at least I do. So type N, type uh, the word route in there and then um, our first word here you see is size, type in size just the same way it came out there. And then what will happen, it's a lot like a select object. This message coming out here will check in there. If it sees size, it'll come out this output. But it will be two numbers. So we will need to unpack them. So make another object, an unpack object, zero, zero. So now, we are almost unstoppable, and we may as well just go ahead and stick uh, two number boxes under there just so we can keep track of what the heck is going on with our LCD object. Okay. Making sure everything's working. Get size. 278, 166, and our message box is telling us that here what came out was size, 278, 166. Fantastic. Um, we're going to leave this for a moment, except uh, we'll just do one uh, sort of tricky little thing here, and that's copy this over to here. I think we were working with this before. Were we not with the mouse? Let's just stick that over there in case we want it. And we have, uh, if we lock the patcher again, we can see our numbers flowing there. We can get our size and we obviously need one more message which is the clear message. Alright, so to make um, an automated drawing um, we're just going to do it in the, in, the, in the simplest way that I can even think of to do it, which is we'll um, make a metronome that we like to do, or we could work backwards too. 
sometimes it makes sense to work backwards. Let's work backwards today. Um, whatever it is that's going in here, we need to draw something. So we're going to prepend whatever message it is today with line segment. Okay. So now that we know that we're going to make a line segment, we know that we need four numbers to come into it. So let's just go ahead and make another uh, pack object. I just typed the letter M, N, N, just the letter N as in Nancy, pack, zero, space, zero, space, zero, space, zero, and there. So here's what we need to make a line segment. Okay, in order to get there, um, I'm just going to use the counters and uh, let's see what kind of silliness we can come up with with a counter. Um, type the letter N, type counter. Now, if you type in a zero, the counter counts upward. If you type in a one, the counter counts downward. If you type in a two, the counter counts up and then down. So we want it to do that. Let's start at zero and we'll just type in a hundred for fun. And then we need something that actually runs the counter. So that'll be a metro object and we want to watch it working so we'll make it go not too fast and not too slow, 50 milliseconds. And then the prerequisite toggle switch. Just by typing a T, it's that easy. Okay, so we'll have that running there, and then we can do a number of different things. Um, one is that we can just um, duplicate this thing. and try to come up with four numbers. I, I like it to start and stop all at the same time, so that's why I'm going to do this. And then I'm just going to use my shift key. Okay. Oops. Forgot to let off the shift key. There we go. Okay. So we could just do this. And in order to get our four numbers, we can go down here and lo and behold, we have four numbers down here. So, um, you know, rather than have like a million patch cords running all over the place, I'm just going to stick some send objects down here. Okay, new object, uh, send. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, size X, there we go. X. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, new object, there we go. Uh, send size size. Y send mouse X and send mouse. give us more more stuff to work with okay so put 
these up here and these up here and then I'll just change them all to R's as I like to do That's three clicks, by the way. I finally managed to get this down. Three, and you delete, and then R, and there they go. Okay, so we can have this counter counting up to mouse X if we want. We'll reset its upper limit number. We'll have this one count up to mouse Y. We'll have this one count up to size X. We'll have this one count up to size Y. And that should, if I have any notion of what's going on, have a sort of self-regulating feature that it will never place anything outside of the box because we've used our sizes as the absolute maximum for where these things can be. I'm not guaranteeing it, but let's just say. Let's see what happens. Well, let's make sure we've got get size. That's the size. Okay, here we go. So. Here comes our no our lines. Interesting. Yes, indeed. As long as my mouse is down, it just keeps keeps working with me there. Um, oops! Even when I let the mouse up, why is that? Nice. I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> um, you know what the problem is? It's not a nice, uh, gracious color here. I should have brought some of my um, my color uh, mechanism over here. Maybe I can build one real quick, uh, or, or I could just make a uh, a message here. Oh, I'll build one. What the heck? What was it, buddy? Four. Let's see how fast I can do it. The new uh, pack. Zero space zero space zero space zero. Whoops, can't do that. Okay, and then we get the it wasn't buddy, it was Bondo. Now I have to retype it. Darn it, Bondo. There we go, and then. Uh, um, what was it? A slider. Doesn't. Say, there we go. Slider. And uh, we need this slider. I guess I have to zoom out now. Need the slider to be between zero and two hundred and fifty-five. on you and we also need a swatch to go there and this to go here and then we need to prepend it all with Prepend F R G B. Okay, I hope that wasn't too painful for some of you. Let's see if it works. I'll turn this up to here. Let's clear it. And then we'll, well, maybe we'll just try this. White and is our Interesting. Um, what did I forget?
Oh, I remember what I forgot. Swatch needs to be um, remember output old 255 style. Does anybody remember this from our lesson? I forgot again. And I believe the last time I said unacceptable to forget. There we go. And I forgot. Okay, here we go again. Let's see if we let's see if we got it this time. Hey, look at that. I kind of made it transparent for this one, so... There you go. Something a little... Oh, of course it keeps going because the mouse uh, the mouse is changing its maximum number, not its uh, absolute uh, space. We could change that too if we wanted to. I know everybody wants to, but um, it is making a rather lovely picture. Um, if we so desired, we know that these are staying inbound. We could um, have it draw the other end of the line segment to the mouse um, coordinates by simply sending them uh, down here to the number. The, taking this, oops, unlock, take this, and connect it there, and take this, and connect it there. So now these um, these two metronomes aren't actually doing anything, so we're not, so it's not activating the line drawing until the mouse starts drawing. Whoops, gotta lock it down. And then it'll start drawing, but when you stop, it stops. So this one's a little tiny bit more controllable. go. Um, a little bit of automated drawing and weirdness, the LCD object, and perhaps most importantly we've learned to get information out of our LCD and uh, use it wisely um, by feeding it back into the system. Well that's all for procedural drawing and I will see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks for watching.